air transports, meaning patients that are either on a ventilator or on drips. We do interfacility transports. We've done ECMO machines, balloon pumps. So we do those really critical patients that need to go to a higher level of care. I've been using AC70 about a year now. Well, what I like about the AC70 is that it is a true ventilator. Uh, it gives me a wide range of breath modes that I'm able to do, which is AC, uh, CPAP, uh, SIMV. I'm able to dial an FIO2 of 21 to 100%, which is very uh, critical in the field that we work in. Those patients are typically really hard to transport from facility to facility, so the HD70 allows us to have a step up on the competition. So. The main advantage for HD70 is that the FIO2, I had a, a patient that was on uh, a BiPAP at Downey Regional, and he had emphysema, he had COPD, pulmonary fibrosis, they called three other companies to come out and transport this guy. Either they couldn't move him because the FIO2 was too high, which he was on 100%, or their ventilators didn't, just didn't support his respiratory status. They called us and we came out and with the HT70 and the non-invasive mode and with the bias flow, I was able to get that patient moved with no problem. That is really a plus because the battery is 10 hours. So not that our transports are typically that long, but it gives us a, a security, a, a feeling of security to know that our ventilator does have a battery that lasts 10 hours. The HT70 is very user friendly. Uh, we do have nurse, uh, staff, uh, nurses on staff uh, for our CCT program. I was able to educate them on the ventilator, how to use it. They do run calls with the ventilator, so it is a very, very user-friendly ventilator. We definitely will keep using the HC70. We love the HC70. Uh, we also go out and, and service case managers on our equipment and what we're capable of as far as our program. And this is one of our main stars in that uh, process.